Hi, welcome to Pictures, Notes and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Mara. So, I had a comment from Daniel Gears, who basically said, there's a Latvian metal band called Mara, which you should check out. Please try Label Me Insane, which as you can see by the title of this video, I did not do, <laughs> which isn't quite true. I did check out Label Me Insane, um, and it's fine, and I would have done that song, except that it seems to be really popular. So I purposely kind of went off and found one that seemed to be a little bit less popular because I'm a contrarian. Um, so they've got this album, it's called Therapy for an Empath. And it's been out for, I think, two years now. So it's this isn't a brand new song or anything. So this is a song called Blame Shifter. Now, as it happens, I haven't heard this one. I do. The reason what happened with um, "Label Me Insane" was that I went to Mara's Facebook page to look them up, you know, like you do. And the first thing that I saw was a reaction for uh, "Label Me Insane" by AMP Reacts, who are fantastic guys, and I really like their channel, by the way. Um, but that was the top thing on their Facebook, and I thought, yeah, I, th I should probably do something else, you know, because otherwise it, it just. You always get this, like a song does the rounds, doesn't it, of the of these sorts of channels, which is nothing wrong with that, of course, but I'm just breaking the, the cycle kind of thing and doing this instead. So I, I heard about 10 seconds of this to check it, to make sure it was still in, you know, the right sort of thing for this channel. Um, so here we are, a song called Blame Shifter Off, Therapy for an Empath by Mara. So I believe these are from Latvia and as, as at least I'm going off what the person who recommended them said. And um, not the first song, not the first band rather, uh, from Latvia that we've done. So do you remember Skyforger? Ah, what a great song that was. Um, and I've been to Latvia. Did I mention that? I always mention that because it's not often you get to say it. So yeah, I've been to Latvia. It was really, really nice. I went to, I went to Riga, and, uh, which is the capital, I think and um, fantastic architecture and everything is great. Just walk around the city of Riga um, in Latvia. But um, I digress, as usual. So let's just get on with it, shall we? That would probably be a good idea. So this is Blame Shifter. Um, yep, got me a piece in. I've got this one in. This came out in March 2019, but the album was out before that. So I think it's an EP, actually. I don't think it is an album. EP. Whatever. Yeah, this is it, this is it. 
That drummer's a monster. <laughs> Made me laugh when he headbutted his cymbal. It was <laughs> just funny. The thing about that song, right, before I get on to actually talking about the song, but the thing about that song is that if you go if you go and look up their other song that I mentioned earlier, the uh, Label Me Insane, it's almost a completely different band. Almost. Um, Label Me Insane, you could practically... You can certainly sing along to and you could almost dance to, I think. Um, so clearly a band with, that's got more than one kind of uh, feeling to it, uh, more than one direction in it, shall we say. Because, um, yeah, that label me insane. It's still got that all that energy and it's still got that, you know, it's still about something kind of thing. But it's just such a different song to that. Whereas this is much more... Um, sort of straightforward aggression, if you like. Um, and it's got really heavy production and it charges along. Like I say, that drummer seems to be a bit of a lunatic um, and gives it a really good drive to it, doesn't he? Uh, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, this, it's one of those things that you almost struggle to pick apart because it's kind of one big giant rolling rock of a song you know that, that's just one <laughs> kind of thing except that the, the, the last third or the last quarter when it it kind of even got a bit more heavy and a bit but but faster and heavier fast and heavy is definitely a difficult thing to pull off Devin Townsend does it really well uh, but fast and heavy are two things that almost fight each other um so yeah, you know, I think it has a really strong finish, that song. Um, do you want to hear a story? Would you like to hear a story? I may have told this story before because of a couple of years of doing this channel. I'm, you know, I've read. Oh, before I tell the story, one thing that makes me anxious is when I, people are in on roofs and high places like that. I literally kind of, even though they've, they've made the video years ago and I know that, she, that she's still alive and everything, I kind of, it, I don't like people on high, uh, on high things. I don't know what it is. That's not that's not relevant right now. And neither is this story, but I'm going to tell it anyway. The drummer with his um blindfold on and he's playing and just for a second I thought, you know, oh you gotta know where you where your stuff is when you you know, you've got to know where your drums are because you're playing blindfolded kind of thing. Assuming he can't see. And it made me immediately hop to the next thing in my mind was I was playing on a, a fairly large stage and my drums were up on the drum riser at the back you know as usual and um and i walk on go climb up onto the drum riser and get behind my get behind the drums you know say hello to the audience big rock star no no anyway hey sit down okay we're ready there, there was some in you know it's dark you know because you yeah the gig hasn't started so it's dark and you walk on kind of thing and there's some intro music and you're waiting kind of thing. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, waiting, waiting. And what I didn't know was that the technicians, the, the stage technicians who had set up the, uh, the set up all of the stage and the drum riser and all of that sort of thing is that they'd put the smoke machine right behind my chair or literally behind the drum riser here. So I'm sat just waiting, the intro music's playing and then just, you know, 10 seconds or something before we start, I just hear and the world went grey. Just smoke just went and I could not see, I couldn't see my hand in front of my face and the intro music's finishing. You know, you got like a sound monitor playing it to me and the intro and thank heavens that I had set up my own drums and they were set up exactly as I always set them up because for the first half of the first song, could not see a thing, nothing. So you literally just went, ah, they're over here somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't see. And then it cleared up, obviously, you know. I turned to my side like that and off the side of the stage, it's nothing to do with Mara's song, sorry about this. Off the side of the stage there is the stage technician who controls the monitors sounds and everything but also has the magic button for the smoke machine he's laughing his head off i'm playing and calling him rude names like what the 
And then I'm like, no, no, no. So anyway, carry on. I mean, I wasn't angry about it, but it was just like, what are you trying to do to me kind of thing? And then, uh, and then a bit later on, like, I don't know, third song in, and I, and I just went, oh, God, and just <laughs> like this. Stage technician over on the side there, he's laughing his head off, absolutely laughing his head off. And I'm literally shouting at him and it's like I can't see a damn thing sort of thing and he's just like anyway that was in 1990 something so um yeah anyway so there you go uh I've talked all over this but it is what it is it's a rolling wall of sound this song isn't it it bounces along it charges along, in fact, it doesn't bounce along, it charges along. It's, it's, it's nice and aggressive, and the last quarter of it, I think, really sort of elevates it. But go and check out the song that I was recommended, which is Label Me Insane, um, because it's, it's, it's almost a, it's a different band, almost. Almost. Um, they got another video out. I saw another one floating around on YouTube somewhere, but I can't remember the name of it. Life Kills. I'm just... Life Kills Fear? That might be it. Yes, it is. Life Kills Fear. Go and watch that one as well. If I go and watch all of their videos, because they are... They're good, and they're different from each other. But this one I hadn't actually heard till just now, except I heard a little tiny bit of it earlier. Um, check them out. Let me know what you think. Sorry for telling you, talking about me. Hey, it's my channel. <laughs> and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.